Hi guys, today I will show you how to crochet classic granny stripe stitch. I'm sure you have seen it by now because it's one of the most popular stitches out there. And if you are a beginner, you can easily start your journey with this one because granny stitch is very easy to make. All you need to know is chain stitch and double crochet stitch. On my website you will find a photo tutorial and diagram for this stitch as well as five colorways I created. The link is in the description box below. If you like this video or would like to learn more, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button. For this tutorial I use DMC cotton yarn with a 3mm crochet hook, but you can use any yarn with a corresponding hook. To start you need to make a foundation chain of multiple of 3 plus 1. In my case it's 15 plus 1, so my row will have 16 stitches overall. 3 is your repeatable module and that one stitch at the end is for the symmetry, which you will soon see in my swatch. I like to start with solid base, so my first row will be all single crochet stitches. It's not necessary, but I find it much easier and nicer this way. So make one chain stitch and work one single crochet in each stitch. I should end up with 16 stitches. Remember that you don't count this one chain stitch at the beginning of the row. Now that we have our base ready, our second row will be granny stitch. Make three chain stitches and turn the work over. This is your turning chain, which counts as one double crochet. Now make one additional double crochet in the first stitch of the row. Now we are going to make granny stitch. So skip two stitches, yarn over and insert your hook in the third stitch. Now you need to make additional two double crochets in the same stitch so that you have three of them. This is your repeatable module. Now skip two stitches again and work three double crochets in the third stitch again. Continue like so. Remember that you do not add any chain stitches between the threes of double crochet stitches.
To nicely finish off this row, we need to work two double crochet stitches in the last stitch of this row. It is the same thing we did at the beginning, so it's a kind of half granny, you could say. Now it's all nice and symmetrical. If you would like to change colors here, you need to stop before your last move. So here when you have two loops on your hook. Keep it tightly and be careful when turning your work over. Okay, so now let's make row three. To start you need to make two chain stitches, not three. And that's because we will work these double crochets lower. Now go straight to this space and work three double crochet stitches there. Look how easy it is now, you don't even need to count. Just work these grannies in each space you have here. I will meet you at the end of the row. Now when you've made your last granny for this row, it's time to close it with one double crochet in the last stitch, which is the top of our turning chain here. It's not always easy to put the hook through, but it's important. Can you see? It looks just like the beginning of the row now you should definitely aim for the symmetry here. Row 4 is basically the same as row 2, but with small differences. First of all, you will always start your rows with two chain stitches instead of three, because each next row is worked lower in the spaces. So row 3 starts with two chain stitches and one double crochet in the space you, you see here. Now you continue like in row 2, just make three double crochets in each space you see here.
When you reach the end of the row, make one double crochet in this last space here and one double crochet in the top of this turning chain. It can be tricky, but it makes your edges straight and even, so don't skip this step. That's basically it. Now just repeat rows 3 and 4. If you would like to use this stitch for a bigger project, such as a blanket, you can use this swatch to roughly count the amount of yarn you need or the amount of stitches you need to start with. Head to my website if you need any more info and I really recommend you taking a look at the colorways I created because I've had a great time making them, so I hope that you will like them as well. The links are in the description box below. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave suggestions and feedback down below. Thanks and have a creative day!